So I am always talking about why it's so important to check hormone levels, even though that isn't standard of care and that's not what most traditional doctors do. They claim that you don't need blood levels to diagnose menopause. That's absolutely true. We diagnose menopause based on your symptoms and your menstrual history if you've had no period. But here is why I'm so passionate about checking levels. This recent study published in the Lancet Oncology in December of 2023 looked at patients who are high risk for breast cancer. They looked at their levels of estrogen and SHBG, which is sex hormone binding globulin, and they tried to see if that would be somewhat predictive of their risk of breast cancer. In other words, then they would be given a medication to potentially improve the prevention. So what was the conclusion? These results suggest that serum hormones should be measured more routinely and integrated into the risk management decisions. Measuring serum hormones concentration is an inexpensive and might help clinicians differentiate which women would benefit most from a aromatase inhibitor. So not only could both baseline labs determine whether or not you would benefit from hormone therapy, whether or not you're somebody who should take hormones or not take hormones, it also could identify patients who are at risk for breast cancer, at risk for osteoporosis, at risk for heart disease, and be more preventative about health. So again, baseline labs, and we like to, to monitor hormone levels via labs. So find a provider that can work with you.